think I was like, you know, I mean, I know I was like, I was in my ego. Known as P. Diddy, the fifth lawsuit in the last month was filed against him today. And Them bottles right there, they'd been to have something to make the girls be real, real slippery and all of this kind of stuff. The fourth victim of Diddy's intimate misconduct came forward with a lawsuit claiming she was badly mistreated by him. This lawsuit opens a new chapter of this trauma as it includes photos of Diddy with his victim and legal experts are now saying this evidence will probably lead to serious criminal charges. It seems like Diddy can't take it anymore. Meanwhile, in the middle of all this trauma, 50 Cent confirmed working on the upcoming documentary Surviving Diddy, and he promised to donate all profits to the victims of the music mogul. Well, it looks like Diddy on all front pages yet again, but this time, this publicity only ruins his reputation even more, and he's about to break. I follow you, and, and like, nobody's ever had no problems. We've had like little things that the whole world is like known about, and we've solved those things. Just recently, extremely disturbing details of the fourth lawsuit hit the headlines. And this was the last straw for the music mogul. First of all, the victim submitted several exposing photos, and guys, the most modest of them, shows this girl sitting in Diddy's lap. Looks like things are so bad for Diddy that he even broke his silence for the first time. Writing on his ex account enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. He finished his long statement with, let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Looks like Diddy is drowning in despair, and he cannot handle the amount of lawsuits and the horrifying proof against him, including the charges that may set him in jail right next to R. Kelly and Harvey. And it was critically important in this case in particular for people to come forward and to tell their stories. The woman, identified in the suit only as Jane Doe, alleges that the assault occurred in 2003 when Diddy was 34. She names Combs, Harvey Pierre, a former longtime president of his record label, and an unnamed individual as defendants. As Jane Doe says, the music mogul added something to her drink, essayed and trafficked her across state lines. Defendants preyed on a vulnerable high school teenager as part of a trafficking scheme that involved plying her with substances and alcohol and transporting her by private jet to New York City, where she was took advantage of by the three individual defendants at Mr. Combs' studio. Now, it's evident that Diddy will be buried alive sooner or later, and while he was hoping to fight off all of these claims with the millions he has on his bank account, it seems like the situation has reached its peak, and Diddy totally changed the tactics. About all that, all them gnats, you know, they, they can't really touch me, y'all. However, he cannot escape this by giving up Benjamin. First of all, the victim remains anonymous and goes by the name Jane Doe. Secondly, she claims that at that time, she was in 11th grade, Upon meeting Pierre and Combs, she was praised and then lured onto the music mogul's private jet. The lawsuit says Mr. Combs persuaded Mr. Combs persuaded Mems, Doe, who was half his age at the time, to accompany Mr. Pierre and the third assailant on a private jet to his New York studio. Jane doesn't just throw accusations left and right. Apparently, she comes with the evidence that may not only finish Diddy off, but also take away his freedom for many, many years. No wonder he's freaking out and trying to play a victim of financial exploitation in this story. The end of this is money. That's what a civil suit is. So no matter what he did to her, in a civil suit, the end is always going to be money. You see, guys, Diddy cannot get away with these allegations by generously handing some hush money to the victim. The suit includes four images that her attorney says were taken in Com studio in New York City on the night of the alleged misconduct. In one of the images, she appears to be sitting on Diddy lap. This suit can become Diddy's last song, and judging by the music mogul's reaction, fans are already making suppositions about how this all will play out. As one person commented, I wonder if he's going to face the music or take his life like Jeffrey Epstein. He's facing a lot of time if it's true, I wonder. And another user added that fourth lawsuit is not going after your fortune. It's going after your freedom playboy. This one is different. Jane Doe's lawsuit doesn't end with a few exposing photos. It reveals the whole disturbing experience and horrible mistreatment that she had endured that night with Diddy. And she says she was 17 years old at the time, but tells a very detailed, um, really harrowing story. The lawsuit portrays the horrendous incident when Jane Doe's drinks were spiked with some substances and three men took turns with her in the studio's bathroom. She became more and more inebriated, eventually to the point that she could not possibly have consented to having intercourse with anyone, much less someone twice her age. According to her, when they all finished, she was left on the bathroom floor all alone, with her intimate parts and mouth in severe pain after what had happened. Now, Diddy may not even remember this situation because there were so many other similar stories, but probably the photos will refresh his memory and be enough for the judge to convict him. I'm here, I'm gonna speak up for myself. I'm gonna Absolutely. speak up for myself now. 
After this horrendous story surfaced, the whole industry with some heavy hitters seemed to be against the music mogul as well. All his so-called friends and party fellows been distancing themselves from the upcoming drama, and Diddy's industry nemesis 50 Cent even announced the full anti-Diddy campaign, announcing that his G-Unit film television will be producing the untitled film about Diddy's crimes. After the news of a fourth allegation against comms was revealed, 50 Cent announced that proceeds from this upcoming movie will go to victims on his Instagram. The rapper wrote next to this announcement, <sighs> but if at some point you gotta just do the right thing. 50 has some special love for Diddy and he has repeatedly exposed the red flags in his behavior. However, it looks like only now people start to truly believe him. I'm poking at what he's saying. <laughs> Sources close to the situation are also saying that Diddy is planning to use a slide tactic trying to get away with his crimes and he's already taking a page from R. Kelly's playbook, announcing that these claims against him as nothing else as an easy money grab. Diddy's rep already called the lawsuits nothing but a money grab and due to Com's fame and success, he is an easy target for anonymous accusers who lie without conscience or consequence for financial benefit. However, it doesn't look like the industry is giving up and keeps dancing to Diddy's tune. More of his former allies are turning against him and as former bad boy artist Mark Curry recently hinted, Diddy is much capable of doing all these things. I think he's very capable of doing it. It's in his character. That's who he is. That's what comes with power. That's what comes with arrogance. Curry has been blasting his old boss for years, but it looks like only now, people being to listen and realize what kind of person Diddy truly is. In addition, Mark shared a horrible fact hinting that Diddy has been doing his trick with spiking people's drinks for years, and this is how he actually ended up mistreating all them. Now, it looks like Diddy is about to lose it all, and he doesn't have the power to stop what's coming for him. 50 Cent's jokes stopped being friendly, and now he is adamant to expose the naked truth about the music mogul with his documentary. He already teased fans with a clip where he played a part of Rick Ross's song, Put Molly All in Her Champagne. She ain't even know it. I took her home and I enjoyed that. She ain't even know it. Calms and Ross have worked together several times in the past, and it seems like they share than just a collab. Ross has a close relationship with Diddy. Uh, at one point, they were so close, you would think, you know, they're in a relationship together. Meanwhile, new portion of rumors popped up online implicating that Rick Ross used to take part in freak-offs with Diddy, and maybe even he was that enigmatic third person in Jane Doe's recent lawsuit. A video that recently surfaced shows Diddy and Ross washing cars together and joking about slippery soap. I just buy a slippery soap. I'm actually using it myself, so, yo, know, just, just stay tuned to see Diddy and Rose wash a car. All these crazy things coming to Diddy at once certainly shattered his confidence in being untouchable. He's facing a whole lot that just losing his fortune, and with his freedom hanging on a thin thread, he's begging people to stop. However, no one buys his fake explanations. As one person commented, damn, Diddy got caught and now became an actor, asking for mercy. The devil asking for mercy? I don't think so. He tries to con us again. It just never ends with him. And another user added, D wants mercy. No way. Did the victims get mercy from him? No, rotten jail. Looks like Diddy is left alone to deal with this mess. Not a single celeb has come forward to defend him. All the rappers that partied with him for years keep low profile because they know that Diddy won't be able to get away this time. But what do you think? Is Diddy truly done? Drop your thoughts on this one. Check my other videos.